Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. It's the weekly reading for the week of August 12th to the 18th. Your cards this week, Aquarius, energy is leaving, completing or transitioning. You have the beautiful omen of the Empress. Focus energies this week, you have Nine of Cups, clarified with perspective. You have the Page of Swords coming in towards the end of the week. So Aquarius, you know, the Empress in your recent past or you're under her, her spell at the moment because, you know, she is the most beautiful, powerful energy. You know, she's one of the most sort of sensual and feminine um, characters of the tarot deck. She is really the epitome of promise because she has this, she is bursting with the fertility needed to birth things into um, into fruition, actually, to make them solid. You know, she can be the birth of a new idea. She can carry a physical birth into this realm. You know, she really can bring something through, something that you've really been, you know, um, seeking for some time. You know, and at the number three, you know, she really is the beginnings of manifestation. She is the promise. She's the promise that says, you know what, you know, if you tend to me, if you connect with your with your true self, if you connect with the rhythms of nature, then I will I will birth this for you. That's what the Empress says. It's a really, really beautiful energy. So she really is, you know, magnetic. She's giving you the promise that things are going going to come into fruition for you. Now um I, when I was putting the cards down, I asked for a vision, and the vision I got was um, an oyster creating a pearl. Uh, it's an interesting story with an oyster because an oyster actually creates the pearl out of a state of irritation, right? So little grains of sand, you know, go into the oyster. This is, this is how I understand it anyway in a very layman's terms. If any of you have anything to do with oyster farming, um, you know, this is probably going to sound very basic, but, you know, little grains of sand get in there and it's that process of irritation that actually creates this beautiful pearl. So what it's saying is that, you know, that you might have had um, hardships in your life up until now or situations that seem to be irritating and, and that sort of thing. But what it's telling me is that, that has been the process of you, you know, birthing your pearl out of these hardships, out of these irritations, out of these things. You know, you're really um, actually manifesting something quite beautiful, but it has been a long, slow and arduous process because we all know it takes a long time to create a pearl. But you're really on that time of actually, you know, birthing this pearl, whatever it may be. So let's just keep that in mind while we go to your focus energies here. So... We have the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles up here, guys. So look at this. You know, you have two cards of, you know, a very, very fulfilled state of being here. You know, the Nine of Cups is about somebody who, um, you know, is very satisfied, you know. They're satisfied sitting there with all their sort of cups lined up. It's somebody who has had a real sense of fulfillment, achieved fulfillment um, in their life, you know. They have that sense of contentment, right? Um, and then we have the Ten of Pentacles here, which shows the ultimate achievement in terms of, you know, the abundance of the physical, practical, material abundance in life. Somebody that's achieved, you know, a beautiful home, maybe, you know, living generationally or, or at least having a very um, strong sense of harmony in terms of family pets, retirement, having the money, all that sort of thing. So what it's saying here under the Empress Energy Aquarius is that there is great promise for you here with this. And I'm not saying that this is going to arrive to you in the course of one week, but what we're seeing here is you making some, you know, fundamental shifts energetically to call this in for you. You know, maybe that's saying that there's things that have irritated you about, you know, your family or home life and things like that are merely just grains of sand creating a pearl in your oyster. And what, you know, with the perspective card here, guys, which is actually um, the hanged man in the Rider Tarot deck, it asks you to, you know, what do you need to shift your perspective on in order to call this in? You know what, maybe the perspective that you need to shift is stop looking at your irritations 
as irritations, instead looking at them at the things that are, co uh, are actually um, creating your pearl. They are the, the elements of growth that are creating something great for you, a ten of pentacles reality. You know, and under the perspective card, you know, it does ask you to take that different viewpoint to enlighten yourself, you know, with these, um, enlighten yourself with this wisdom, with this knowledge that's actually going to bring this into your reality. You know, it's about taking that different viewpoint. Yeah, I really feel it is about seeing the negatives um, as something that's actually giving you the growth to create something. Um, it's a, creating a jewel for you, basically. You're really getting a really strong element of growth out of it. Now, coming in towards the end of the week, we have the Page of Swords and the Nine of Cups. So, interesting combo here. So, I really feel like what this is saying to you is that if you can, you know, change your viewpoint and see these, um, you know, the things that you might have perceived as negatives, actually seeing the positive in them, seeing the jewel in that crown, you know, what that really brings in is the wind of change here because the Page of Swords can be the wind of change. It's kind of like the, the energy that comes in when you've shifted. You know, it's shifting your energy. Um, it really is that kind of breath of fresh air that comes in after you've had quite a um, perspective shift. And when you do that, it's amazing what can come into your reality. So here we have the Knight of Cups, which could actually, you know, it is known as the Knight in Shining Armor in the Tarot deck. It actually could be that person coming in with an offer of love for you that's going to actually help you bring about this situation. You know, under the Empress energy, I'd say it could definitely be somebody coming in with an offer of love, or it could be to someone coming in with um, an offer of something that's going to fulfill you on an emotional level. So then it could link to other things like, you know, a creative project, a work offer, that kind of thing. But it, what it's saying here is that you really do need to shift that perspective and let those winds of change complete and shift and blow in the other direction. And then, you know, these are the things that can come in for you. And the promise is, the promise is Nine of Cups and Ten of Pentacles energy out of that. So it's a really strong element of promise here. And, you know, the Knight of Cups, you know, I think we, what we could do is we could really vision, um, imagine that cup being replaced with the pearl, you know. This Knight of Cups is bringing you this pearl into your life and saying, well, look, you know, out of, you've been through this journey, you've battled the negatives, you've um, overcome the hurdles, and to show for that, you have this beautiful jewel. Here is the pearl, you know, the pearl in the crown, pearl of wisdom, this is going to bring you that joy and harmony into your life. So be on the lookout for somebody who is bringing in that kind of offer, an offer that could go the long, the long haul for you and really create that sense of ultimate um, nine, nine of cups, ten of cups, ten of pentacles, fulfillment and abundance in your life. Um, yeah, we also, we have water signs here and air signs, Aquarius. So, you know, it could be um, Cancer, Scorpio or... Um, Pisces or you know here we have the page of swords air sign Gemini Libra or you Aquarius in fact this could actually be you you know you actually shifting your energy here stepping into your sort of sense of youthfulness rediscovering yourself shifting your energy and calling in that knight of cups calling in that jewel transforming your negatives into pearls beautiful Okay, I hope that resonated for somebody. Um, you know, it was, it was a little bit sort of um, uh, a bit of a different one, a little bit more specific, but hopefully it resonated for somebody out there. Um, hope you enjoyed the reading, Aquarius. Keep in mind it is a general reading, so it won't resonate for everyone, but it will for those it's meant to. And I'll see you for another reading next week.